Water levels are often one of the most reviled things in video games. The idea of bringing a slower pace to things is something that doesn't sit well with a lot of people. An example of where this hatred towards water levels is most prevalent is in the Sonic games, such as the infamous Labyrinth Zone present in the original Sonic the Hedgehog. The reason for Labyrinth Zone being widely hated is because it breaks the pace for a game where the most fun thing to do is go fast, so it essentially snaps the game's core design in half, and also introduces one of the most terrifying sound cues in video games to date. Okay, doing good, doing good. Let's just go ahead and, you know, get some more air. I've already got plenty, but, you know, let's be safe. Let's just be cautious about this. Get some more air, and then this zone is mine. Okay, any second now. No rush. Feeling good. <laughs> what? Okay, stop screwing around. Come on. Come on! But that aside, water levels are hated in almost every video game, whether it be in Mario games, the many infamous water temples throughout the Zelda series, Atlantica in Kingdom Hearts 2, that weird area in Star Fox 64, or even the entire game that is Echo the Dolphin. But what if I told you that I don't exactly share this opinion of water-based levels being the absolute worst thing in video games? In recent times, water levels have changed for the better. Now sure, occasionally they can still break the pace of an otherwise great video game, but where can you find an example of this nowadays that isn't Sonic the Hedgehog related? Water levels almost always happen to be the best looking or sounding levels in video games. It's something about the rather relaxing atmosphere that brings comfort to me. Think of something like Super Mario Galaxy's Beach Bowl Galaxy. This galaxy, in particular, is one of my favorites in the entire game. Mostly down to its tropical beach setting and its dynamic music that changes when you dive underwater, with dynamic music being something that enhances a water-based level for me. And even despite the game being on the Wii which can only output 480p, Beach Bowl still looks amazing. In fact, Mario games are one of the sole reasons for me liking water levels in video games so much. You have the aforementioned Beach Bowl Galaxy, Big Mouth Galaxy, the Lake Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey, and many of the various water-themed racetracks from the Mario Kart series, which is kind of a weak argument, but whatever. Going back to the point of water levels being the most beautiful looking or sounding levels in video games, a key example for this is Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze for the Wii U and Switch, specifically its current capers, Mangrove Cove and Amiss Abyss levels. All of these have absolutely stunning visuals and all sound beautiful. Here, I'll give you a few moments to listen to current capers underwater ambience theme. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that the next time you come across a water-based area or level in a video game, be that in a platformer, an RPG, a racing game, or even an FPS, instead of immediately hating it because it slows down the pace or whatever, take the time to actually appreciate the area or level, whether it be for its music or visuals. But anyway, this video wasn't really intended as a deep dive, ha, ah, get it, or anything but more of a fun little thing to tide you over while I work on other, bigger stuff. Which, now thinking about it, I could have been doing instead as opposed to working on this video, so.